Hi, this is Ellie from ProLifeForMankind.com and I wanted to tell you about a message I received from Our Lady the other day. She said she will triumph. And I wanted to share that with you. And I also wanted to share that at Adoration today, I received a message from Our Lady. She said, my son, Jesus, was crucified again in Ukraine. So the people are suffering greatly. Please pray for them. Do whatever, whatever you can do to help the people of Ukraine. Please do it. But um, we must do what we can to help the people in Ukraine and pray for the protection of all of Europe and the United States. But I also wanted to point out to you that today I got an inspiration from the Holy Spirit to look up Vladimir Putin's birthday and to my surprise I found he was born on the Feast of the Holy Rosary. This should be, this is a positive discovery because this was designed this way that this dictator was born on October 7th is God's way of telling us that this dictator's days are numbered because he will be defeated by the Holy Rosary. That's why he was born on October 7th, 1952. He was born on the Feast of the Holy Rosary to let you and I know, God wanted us to know that he will be defeated by the Rosary, by our prayers, by our many Rosaries. We will defeat communism. Our Lady will triumph through our Rosaries. So the good news tonight is that his days are numbered because we have a powerful weapon. Remember, Padre Pio said, the rosary is the weapon. How ironic, how ironic that Putin, one of the worst dictators, is born on October 7th. So take it as a sign from God that God is going to defeat him through our rosaries. Our Lady is going to defeat this dictator through our rosaries. That's why he was born October 7th. So keep praying and keep praying your rosary. God bless you.